So we have shown that for all state J, if you have a limiting distribution phi, then the for all state J, the limiting distribution satisfied, phi J is bigger than or equal to this sum. We have to show the equality holds. In order to show the equality, what we will observe is that one is the sum of all these guys as J runs over S. Obviously, because of this inequality, now this is bigger than or equal to sum of all of these guys. So it basically, this is bigger than or equal to this double sum. So this red inequality here is coming because of applying this red inequality for each J term by term. Okay. Since the term by term equality holds, the sum is bigger than or equal to this sum. Now observe that everything here is non-negative. And therefore, by using Fubini's theorem, we can interchange this sum. Interchange the sum. If you interchange the sum, this pi k can come outside because it, it has no j in it. So that will come outside. And then you will be left with pkj running j, j running over s. Now this is just a row sum of the transition matrix. And this, this is therefore equal to one. And that gives you summation pi k, which is actually equal to one. So we started with one and we got one in the end. So we, therefore equality holds. Therefore, since equality holds, equality should hold everywhere. The only inequality I have used is this inequality. So therefore, this inequality here actually should be an equality. Now, how did I get this inequality? I, did, I got this inequality by summing all these inequalities. So therefore, this means that all of this should be actually equal. Because if there is a strict inequality somewhere, that will keep, tell us that sum is strictly bigger than this guy, which is a contradiction. So therefore, equality should be there everywhere. Okay, since equality holds, it has to hold everywhere. So in particular, all the inequality signs should be replaced by equality. In particular, it should be replaced here as well. And therefore, that shows that pi is indeed a stationary distribution. Okay, so this completes the proof that limiting distribution is indeed a stationary distribution. This is, of course, an elementary result, and it's just done by you know finite approximation of a countable set, essentially. But this is very useful because this tells you that you know if you want to look for limiting distributions, then it has to be stationary. So therefore, stationary distributions is a good class where you should look for limiting distribution. And of course, limiting distributions are important because they give you the asymptotics of the Markov chain. So it tells you that what happens to the Markov chain eventually, okay? Now, of course, there are questions that needs to be asked. The first question is, when will the limiting distribution exist? In general, it may not exist, and we'll actually see an example today itself. Second question is, when will the converse of the last proposition hold? Namely, when will stationary distribution be limiting distribution? In other words, what I'm asking is, under what, say, sufficient condition on the chain, stationary distribution will be the limiting distribution. Now, we know that the limiting distribution is unique, but stationary distribution may not be unique. So therefore, what can happen is the limiting distribution is one of the stationary distributions. OK? Well, limiting distribution, if it exists, will have to be a stationary distribution. Now then therefore it will be one of the stationary distributions. But suppose stationary distribution is also unique. Then will it imply that stationary distribution will be a limiting distribution? So this is a more specific question than two. Suppose the chain is irreducible and positive recurrent, so that it has a unique stationary distribution pi. Does it imply that pi is indeed the limiting distribution? And as we will see, in the next slide, the answer is actually no. In general, even under irreducibility and positive recurrence, the unique stationary distribution may not be the limiting distribution. Let's take an example. Consider the simple random walk on Z6. So Z6 has six elements. Now, clearly this is irreducible. And this is a finite state space Markov chain, which is irreducible, and therefore by one of the exercises that I've given you, this is positive record. Of course, 
it also has a stationary distribution, therefore, unique stationary distribution, which in this case happens to be the uniform distribution. Because if you see the transition matrix here, the transition matrix is symmetric. Okay, so therefore, uniform distribution is going to be the unique stationary distribution in this case. However, is it the limiting distribution? The claim is that this simple random walk on Z6, this XM, this does not have a limiting distribution. Why so? Let's try to prove it. Suppose it has a limiting distribution, phi. Then we know that wherever you start from i, whatever for all i, whenever you look at pijn, as n goes to infinity, this converges to pi j. In particular, if you take i equal to j, then pin should converge to pi i. Right? So therefore, pin should converge to pi i for all i in s as n goes to infinity. That's the definition that come, comes from the definition of limiting distribution. If that is the case, then pi i also would be the limit of the pi i along the odd subsequence. So pi i to k plus one. If this limit is pi i, then all, all the subsequences of pi i n should converge to the same limit. In particular, if you take the subsequence and the odd positions, that should also converge to pi i. However, if you look at this chain, pi i of any odd number, so if you start at i, you can come back to i only after a, only after even number of steps. This, this can be checked very easily. This is because you can either come back by going, a taking a few steps and then coming back, or you can come back by completing the whole circle, but then the, the circle has only six elements, so therefore it has to be an even number. So if you start from i, you can come back to i only after even number of steps. In particular, pii of 2k plus 1, this, this, this uh, transition probability with odd number of steps is 0. So each of them is 0, therefore this limit is also 0, which shows that each pi i is 0, which contradicts the fact that summation of pi i is 1. And where is the contradiction coming from? The contradiction is coming from the fact that we had assumed this has a limiting distribution. So therefore, this shows that XM does not have a limiting distribution. So this is an example of an irreducible and positive recurrent Markov chain with a unique stationary distribution, but the stationary distribution is not the limiting distribution. In fact, the limiting distribution does not even exist. Okay. See, if the limiting distribution existed, it had to be the unique stationary distribution because limiting distribution has to be stationary. The point is it doesn't exist. In this case, limiting distribution does not exist. And the key problem that is happening here is because that after odd number of steps, you cannot come back to the starting state, which is basically a periodicity problem. You can only come back after even number of steps, which tells you that period of each state is two. Of course, periodicity is a, is a class property. So therefore, since this is irreducible, all the all the states will have same period. In fact, the period is two in this case. So because of that, we are having a problem. By following the same argument, this is something I leave for you to complete, but it's possible to show. By following the exact same argument, you will be able to show that whenever you have an irreducible and periodic Markov chain, it doesn't even have to be positive record, okay? Then XM does not have a limiting history. Exact same argument. Uh, this is something maybe I leave it as an exercise for you. If you're not convinced, do it yourself. Okay. So if you have an irreducible and periodic mark of chain, it does not have a limiting distribution. In particular, if it is also positive recurrent, in particular, it means that it is irreducible, positive recurrent, and periodic. Of course, if it's positive recurrent and periodic uh, and uh, irreducible, then it has a unique stationary distribution. But pi is not the limiting distribution of the chain. So in other words, pi j ends don't converge to pi j as n goes to infinity. Although we have already shown that for such a chain, namely for a positive recurrent irreducible chain, even if it's periodic, we have already shown that for all ij, pi j ends, when you look at the Cesaro mean, the Cesaro convergence holds to pi j. Okay. When you take the Cesaro means that converges to pi j. So therefore, as we had said last time, 
I'm going to repeat it. The cesarobin removes the effect of periodicity. So this is just a side comment, but the point is for periodic Markov chains, even if it's irreducible, limiting distribution is not going to exist. So in particular, if it's irreducible, positive recurrent and periodic, then it will have a unique stationary distribution, but a stationary distribution is not going to be limiting distribution. In fact, the limiting distribution is not going to exist in 